the look is actually quite unusual because we work across multiple genres from short form right through to TV drama and feature films. But the workflow is not actually that dissimilar between those different genres now. So you might do a commercial in two hours and a TV drama might take many months. But the advantage is it keeps everybody here interested and on our creative toes. My name is Thomas Irby and I'm the Managing Director and Senior Colourist here at The Look. In the late 1990s I joined Bournemouth Film School and I focused on editing and then in 2003 I joined MPC uh, where I focused on colour grading and then in 2007 I set up The Look. We cover all aspects of pitch post production. We've currently got two 4K Rios here and they're sharing the same storage so we can move projects between different suites doing the conform and the grade and the online all concurrently. The conform tools in the Rio are the most advanced that I've seen in any other system. You can adjust the metadata, the start, the end, all the different file names, and this makes the auto conform very, very straightforward. Most people in TV and feature films are still cutting on Avid, so a big USP is being able to take an Avid AAF and drag it straight into the system and have everything reconform with the same effects and the same resizes. There are a number of key features uh, in the Rio system and one of the main ones is its 4K capability. Handling 4K in a Rio is a bit like handling HD in any other system, so you've got multiple layers all going at real time. It's pretty incredible. The creative aspects, curve grading, group grading and the storyboard are also very, very important. Uh, and also the Neo panel, which I think is incredibly well designed. We have a strong reputation in TV drama and we've recently completed an eight one hour series called Jericho for ITV. Shot on the Ari Alexa at 2K, it's about a community in the late 1800s in Yorkshire who are building a viaduct connecting two separate railway lines. The major issue with shooting in the UK is the changing weather conditions, especially when you're up in the Yorkshire Hills. So the director and the DP wanted to have a very cinematic feel. Uh, so what I had to do was use a lot of S-curve contrast, delicate colours, but in the end, I think, as you'll see, we got some breathtaking images. So here's episode one of Jericho, and you can see it's about 80 minutes, and there's a few part breaks in here. I'm just gonna zoom in to the timeline, and I've actually already graded this, but for the sake of this little demonstration, I'm just gonna go through and delete the grade here. I can just lasso those. i go on to the first shot, and as I mentioned, uh, a lot of the stuff is shot in log color space, so I'm just gonna start on this base layer here and dial a little bit of S-curve in there and uh, do a little grade. And then if I want to get into the curves, I can do a new layer here. So let's, for instance, let's call this uh, curves. And I'm going to get straight in here and I'm going to just plot a little point there and plot a little point there. And if I want to, which is quite useful, I can make it much bigger. If I want to get very precise, I can tap on these points and just move these X and Y is very nice and then I've also got the tangents so I can do even more precise movement at the top and the low end here which is really nice and uh, let's shut that down let's do a new layer here and let's say I want to create a vignette then I can do this here in the center of the screen and just take the entire obviously reverse it around the other way do a bit of softness pretty standard stuff this really do that and I might call this FIFA vignette and so I'm going to go to the next shot and I'm going to copy that grade across and I can try it obviously and you can see it doesn't carry particularly well so I'm going to need to adjust that and I'm just going to do that now, tapping between and we start to get a slightly better result there, move on to the next shot and again I can try that previous grade which is pretty good and if I want to go in and adjust the curves obviously I can do individually again but let's imagine the client has you know, looked at those three shots, we're fairly happy uh, but they want to warm it up overall, I'm just going to go in here and uh, type warm on a new layer and I'm going to go to groups here, create a group and I could just call this scene one and I'm just going to warm this up slightly like that, there we go and I just need to add these into this group so I'm going to go through here and just select those, you can see those have gone blue now and then I can add this warmth to top add and now that will have gone across all those different layers and then we can decide whether we want to tweak them some more. Likewise, if we're on this particular shot, for instance, and I want to grab uh, the shot from 91, I can just do 91 use, which you can see it's carried across there. I can move this up and down as well and we've got the wipe. And I can also change the size of the storyboard 
if I want to get more or less on and then the system updates and shows where we are and we can go back to where we are on the current segment. Once the grade is finished you normally get the clients in to do the finishing and that will include small paint outs which you can do, adding the titles, the, the traditional online, a bit of resizing, changes in re-speed and then we move on to the final deliverables. So the ability to export the ProRes, the DCPs, to do the AS11 which is the DPP file format. This is important because it saves on us having to go into other systems to do any kind of unusual transcoding. Rio Disk Storage is a very valuable resource and so we're always looking at solutions for getting media off and onto the system very quickly. We actually find LTO6 is a great way of doing that. You can plug the deck straight into the back and then archive out to very affordable tapes and then when you want to restore the project you can do it very, very quickly. Whether you're a small or large facility, moving data around is inefficient and can be very time consuming. I was quite keen to keep the efficiency of having everything within one architecture. A lot of other facilities will conform in an AVID, go into another system for the grade and then back into a smoke or an AVID for the final finishing. But I never really understood that. I was very keen to keep it in one place and the Rio architecture does enable us to do that. In such a competitive marketplace, the differentiator is the exceptional creativity combined with client service. With the Rio, I think we've got the tools to do both.